We'd been the Marquesas now for two weeks. One day I saw what turned out to be manta rays and we went over to take a look. was a few weeks later on another Marquesas island called Tauata. We did a dive with some friends one night. We went down the anchor chain after it got dark. Our torches attracted the plankton, which in turn attracted the mantas. close sometimes and we had to duck to get out of the way. Even though they were attracted by the lights, they were also dazzled by them. from Marquesas to Two Mountains. So I had a pretty crappy night's sleep. And the squalls all the time. Things were finally sort of, uh, finally sort of cleared up, but uh, still pretty windy. So uh, we're getting close, but um, just on the map, there's these islands here. So I'm not sure which joker named these ones, but as you can see, they're called the uh, Eels Due Disappointment. Yeah, so I'm not sure who's named those, but I'm not sure it's doing them any favours. You can see it's pretty lively out here. So we got Two reefs, well a reef in the Genoa and a reef in the main. Don't really need them at the moment, but we're going fast enough anyway. You know we got a wake that looks like that. You're, uh, you're going quick. A newly repaired sail seems to be holding together well. If I haven't spoken to Zoom. Good morning. It's just coming up to 6 a.m. The sun has just come up. We're arriving in the two motus at about 10 a.m. Beautiful. Good morning. Good morning. So, so what a difference a day makes. So 24 hours ago the wind was absolutely howling and the waves were 
crashing everywhere and then this is what it looks like today amazing how quickly the seas calm down hardly a breath of wind and over here I don't know if you can see that but it probably can't because they see these little just on the horizon there that's in the bushes of the, the two motu so as you can see they are you know the highest point looks like it's about five foot out off the water so anyway we're probably just about two hours away and then hopefully we'll be in and through the pass so this is the uh, our first pass and we just as you can see here there's some pretty strong currents so we're just uh, it's not quite slack tide yet so we're going to wait a while we've got standing waves in the pass even though there's actually not really a breath of wind at all so we're just sitting here and spinning around And uh, yeah, we'll give it another 15 minutes and then we'll try. But hopefully we can go to the left of those standing waves, so it won't be so bad. So one thing that's useful when we're up here trying to avoid the bombies is this, sort of, uh, this remote control. This part of the, the upgrades we did in St. Martin last year. So if you can see that with this. So this is basically just a control for the remote, the autopilot, so I can actually can steer steer the boat from up here, which is uh, kind of cool. Moving around inside the. Uh, Rairoa. Is that how you pronounce it, Rairoa? Yeah. So here we are, we decided to move to a different anchorage within the, uh, the Rairoa atoll and we're just going past supposedly where the Contiki raft crashed. So if you look over there, so that little, that little island there. Obviously, they, they crashed on the outside of the reef, but that's basically the, the place on the reef where they, they crashed. They went there yesterday, but there's supposed to be a little monument, but we couldn't find anything. But, um, yeah, so we're hoping to be back down this way in the next couple of days, because the wind's picking up, and this looks like a good, good spot to do some kiting, so hopefully back to that. Wish our paddle boards hadn't burst now. You can see that shark over there, tiny black tip. They're everywhere. It's like the seventh one we've seen in the last 10 minutes. So cool. Not sure what Jim is doing over here. Oh, don't mess with that. He's not backing down though, is he? <laughs> uh, 
and we walked until we reached the northeastern edge of the atoll. All this is broken coral. Yeah. <laughs> Go on in. This is as far as I go. No, no more. Look at this crown underneath. Yeah, do it sharp. Oh. There she is. <laughs> oh, let me get a picture. Paradise. Unbelievable. Another shark. This one's coming over, Jim. Don't scare him. This one's coming in quick. beautiful. Just been kiting on these sandbars in the northeast of the atoll of Varroa and there's Jim just coming in the wind is a bit light. So we, uh, we found the Twin Palms Yacht Club, just near where we're anchored. So this is the, the uh, well, the everything of the Yacht Club. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's pretty, there's Polaris down there. A pretty cool setting. Jim with our machete, trying to break into our Two latest coconuts. Thing is so blunt, it just bounces off. While he's doing that, I'll just look over here. Back at the in inverted commas yacht club. Two sharks. Everywhere. He's still at it over there. <laughs> Three weeks later, we uh, we get something to drink. A surprising amount in there, isn't it? It's really nice. Do you want some? Yeah, I'll have some, yeah. Or will I just have more? Yeah, we go, yeah. <laughs> bit. <laughs> Gotta work on the, the technique a bit.
everything and all more. Forget everything. And 